in natural, do you know how much this box would fucking cost, bro? Drake don't got this shit. Jay Z don't got this. You know what's the beers? And these motherfuckers held the line. This is a solid one kilo, and this is how thick it is. Yeah, you can make two of these for that. We're probably around forty-five thousand in natural, sixty-five hundred. So that's why there's a problem in the diamond in diamond district, but it ain't gonna be my problem. It's your jewelry cha challenge, Polo, all right? Jewelry challenges? Did you complete your jewelry challenges or not? Uh, That's yeah. a shame. Unattainable and natural. Forget it. You're not matching these GI certified VVS G color. I don't give a f what pussy ass celebrity you are. I'm gonna wipe my ass with you. <laughs> these are black diamonds. Old stone, making the little play buttons. That's the difference between gold and diamonds, bro. You ain't gonna be putting this in a lab and coming out with it. What happens is. People are in a position, they overplay their hand, and then they're in a position to lose money. Then someone's walking around with a bag of baguettes saying I'll fucking do anything to sell it. So it's Friday, it's the day people are gonna get ripped. All right, guys, I'm, uh, we're gonna review. I never got a chance to review whatever it is, but when it's slow, it's harder, a little harder to make money, guys. But you gotta figure out what to do and how to do it. But we'll look into it and we'll find out. I got their payrolls right here. Our Schmoopy is retired, he's chilling. We'll wipe my ass with you. It's 2023 and we gotta push the business to, to another level. Why don't you check the numbers so far, Mickey? Uh, sales? Yeah. Got it. 17 days, $1.6 million. That's roughly $100,000 per day. That means that if we finish the month, we will be able to be at our marker of 2.4, at least. That's for us to eat and pay the bills. The website did 294 and Yashu did 181, which is fantastic. He uh, came in swinging, strong. Jose put numbers, Encore, Peter, Kenneth always coming through, Steve and Melissa neck and neck, and Sammy and Amy from home, and Carlos coming through with numbers. Sammy did fantastic, Amy did fantastic. I mean, what is the average here? The average, say Anoop is, is, is dead center. Anoop, Vidal, they got something. Brian below, and uh, Amy, Sammy, Melissa, Steve, Kenneth, Peter, Encore above. These are the people that are really earning, and these are the people that are really bringing in bread and butter to back to the company. If everybody, you know, below a noop disappeared, it would only amount to at least like losing one of these people up here. It's a very difficult, very competitive business. We have to take more products with more marketing, and we need more elite people, bro. The, the opportunity versus what you guys are doing is completely two worlds apart. That's really what it is. On the jewelry challenge and on this. As a person who's had 18 years of business is worth 180 years of anybody else, the opportunity versus what we're trying to accomplish is, 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 is worlds apart. Yeah, I right, my friend. Thank you. I got you. Yeah, this is the piece. Now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna turn this piece. Here's your jewelry cha challenge, Paul. All right. We're gonna turn this piece into some sort of a, I don't know, a two finger ring. What are we gonna do bracelet. with it? That's like a bracelet. Yeah, yeah, a little bracelet. All right, you gotta attach something and that, and that's that. Sounds good. All right, yeah. Somebody sent this in. They think it's a game over here, bro. There's no fucking games. Somebody sent this in talking about they sent it in without the set with it, and the centerpiece is missing. We don't get your centerpiece. Don't play this game. Don't send me broken jewelry and thinking I'm gonna sit here and fold. I ain't folding. There's no folding here, bro. Sit here playing a fucking game with me. This guy now he's harassing them. This that they made him a whole new piece. F all that. F all of that. Come through and pick your shit up before I melt it down. Uh, you guys got jewelry challenges? Did you complete your jewelry challenges or not? Uh, That's yeah. a shame. Well, you know what? You're disqualified from that challenge if you haven't already completed it. Jewelry challenge is not a joke. I'm not coming over here to tell you guys, hey, try this, and then nothing happens. If you can't face a challenge, then you can't face a challenge. I don't know what to tell you. See this part right here? So, customer, for whatever reason, customer reneged, didn't want to, you know, process it no more, and um, we ended up disassembling his bracelet, and uh, Max just, you know, challenged me to come up with a creative idea for a new item, 
and I came up with uh, this kind of like ID inspired bracelet. Simple, nothing too crazy, affordable for everybody, and this is what we do. Several people had a challenge. Paolo fulfilled his jewelry challenge. The snake link, okay. All right, so you got a snake link on here, and it's a nice little piece, you know what I'm saying? So with a little uh, jewelry, what do you call it, for the shop? White gold? Yeah. Unfortunately, um, uh, Melissa didn't uh, fulfill her challenge properly. But uh, maybe some other time, maybe some other challenge. And Liam's challenge has been stagnated. Where's your challenge at, Liam? Um, it's in production right now. All right. Polo fulfilled his f***ing challenge, and he's here with a little product. Now the thing is to put it in the store, put a price tag on it, and that's it. I'm working on something else. I'm not going to say that I'm working on it until I get it done. Um. Here you go. This is inspired by Vivaldi, the Quattro Stagioni, the Four Seasons. So this is the idea that I came with uh, every season on the bracelet. Yep, four bracelets. Now Max said that he wants to pick just one of those ones. I don't know which one he likes the most. To be honest with you, I like this one. And this one is the spring. I try to figure out what kind of colors I wear on the clothing. So when I put the bracelet, I want to match it with my clothes. And we have a lot of stuff for men. So I came up with the idea of the green and the flower colors uh, because everything is blooming in spring. And then I came with the, this, the ocean bracelet, uh, which is a moderation of the colors of blue. And this is the autumn colors. And then I came up with this one, which is more like a Christmas bracelet. And this was the idea. We gotta get business rolling. Everybody got a jewelry challenge. We'll see how they work out. The Anoop, you doing good? The Noob is trying to compete. Before I leave, can I show you the sapphire bracelets? Yes. Just because really. I'm setting them, um, and I just wanted to show you. Wow, so we're completing these, yeah. right? So this is Jenny's jewelry challenge. Mm -hmm. She's producing a rainbow sapphire joints, different sizes, different uh, styles, and it's coming out great. There you go, look at that radiant cut. So stone like this would probably be around 45,000 in natural. And how much are you charging for a lab? 6500 6500 So that's why there's a problem in the Diamond, di diamond District, but it ain't going to be my problem because I'm not going to wake up like a f***ing dinosaur and figure out, oh, shit. These are going to be the graduating pairs. This is going to be the center stone. It's a 2.05 pair, lab-grown. All these stones are lab-grown. The pairs are going to be graduating, and they're going to be a f amazing ring, phenomenal. It'll be graduating, alternating. Graduation of the pairs, alternating, forward, backwards, big 2.05 center stone. We're going to pave set these so you don't see all those big prongs in there. Less metal being shown, that's a pave set. It's actually when we cut into the metal instead of the um, prongs already being pre-drilled pre in there. So pave set is a more cleaner look, less metal. If you want to do that, do your next custom, custom project, we'll get it done for you, all right? Tracks NYC. Take a look at this. In in natural, do you know how much this box would f***ing cost, bro? All right, these are one characters each, you know what I'm saying? So this would be a crazy amount of money in natural. But now you can make this product in lab and put it inside this casting. When is this f***ing rest of these stones going to come in? Like the guy Alex, he's like trying to get them matching and stuff. He said because it's hard. And they yeah, fast it's still hard, price, even in lab, and it's still hard, but you're f***ing getting a product where this would cost. Drake don't got this sh Jay-Z don't got this in natural. No f***ing way. Even if, and if they did, they f***ing pay crazy amounts of money for it. But now you can lab it out and you can make a product and it ain't gonna be cheap. How much was this box? Each one of these stones is costing uh, roughly a thousand bucks or less. And in natural, it would have been three grand, four grand a piece. Now you could be able to do that for a third or fourth or whatever the hell it is of the price. And you're gonna have a, it's still a lot of money. It was unattainable in natural, forget it. You're not matching these GI certified VVS G color. I don't give a f what pussy ass celebrity you are. Travis Scott or whoever the f you didn't have it, you ain't gonna get it. And if you did get it, like a Floyd Mayweather would, okay, you spent $300,000 on some shit that now you can do for a less amount of money. We gotta figure out the math. We gotta figure out the product. We gotta figure out what we're trying to do in this world with our money and how we're trying to stunt and pop off. So this is the market. We gotta explain it. We're setting the trends, man. F everybody else. We, we already know what the f*** is. We're gonna sit here and set the trends on, on, on all this shit. There's baguettes coming out left and f***ing right, going crazy. You know, what's the beers? And these mother 
traders held the line. On the natural stones, it was enough to be able to control the market, to close the safe, and dry up the market so people would be forced to pay the higher price while they open up their safe and give you one diamond at a time. But now, when every Tom, Dick, and Harry can go open up their own factory and lab it up, then, uh, you know, it turns into, uh, you can't just close your safe and, and, and control the market or conglomerate it or turn it into a cartel. The keys to the kingdom are out and you can't cartel the market. That's the difference between gold and diamonds, bro. You ain't gonna be putting this in a lab and coming out with it. Look at this monster right here. You, you thought a kilo chain would stick? <laughs> this guy here, man. All right, this is gonna be around for tomorrow. We're we gonna we're we gonna yeah. buy this shit, right? Yeah. No, not yet. No. Not yet. They don't even want to sell this. No, they want to sell it, but well, why can't we buy it then? We will buy it. Yeah. It's hollow. Six hundred grams or whatever it is, but you know, just the look of it is crazy in and of itself. The six hundred. If this was a, if this was gold, it would be three kilos. It's solid gold. This is fourteen k. But you know, Monaco makes these looking chains. This is a solid one kilo, and this is how thick it is. Yeah, you can make two of these for that. Yeah, you have only 600 here, and this is one kilo. So. It's a stupid looking chain, though. <laughs> like, you could, if I do a video on this, it'll be already crazy, right? Yes, you Yeah, yeah, this will, this will be the commercial to do. Well, this is another good looking one. Right? I mean, you have any other chains in there? Yeah, I have the same chain for thinner. All right, so let's, let's play around with this tomorrow. We do a review on this and all right, if you're shopping at Tracks NYC, you got this Pharaoh head, right? I don't know if Jelani saw this. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that's fire. And you pop that out. And you come out, and then you put the alien in. So this is the product, this is the new product, whatever it is. I should have made these out of silver, to be honest. Well, we can, we should have, I, mean, I think that was the plan, so you could switch these up as silver, so you don't have to sit here and have a bunch of money inside your f***ing piece that can't even be seen. But right now, we're gonna keep it like that. Got all the pure ounces, so it's gonna be like a Pharaoh's tomb. All right, ain't nobody doing this. For me, you know who's a celebrity? My clients. And I'm gonna be making pieces for them that are amazing. So when you sit here and you close it and you open up the Pharaoh head, a bunch of fucking golds inside and 24 karat, almost on some, you know, or diamonds are gonna be falling out of here. This is something I decided to do because the plan is, again, business-wise, we can make something that's gonna go viral in and of itself for clients. The carbon molecule, very light, very, so the world is filled with carbon, you know what I'm saying? But in order to crush it down and, and crystallize, it takes a lot of heat, a lot of energy. That's why there's not a lot of diamonds, a lot of carbon. Everything, every person, every object, every uh, aspect is all made out of what's on this little chart. And somebody, there was a story of how this chart was made because, you know, somebody organized all these elements. Diamonds are up here. In the, in the shit section, carbon, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, helium. This is super abundant in the world because it's easy to create. But there's a lot of elements here. Now, carbon is a, a lot of that. You know what the element isn't a lot of? Well, we're going to go down the line, right? You get a bronze metal that's got copper. You do okay, that's got silver. And if you want to do some more, that's got to be gold. And gold is an element that is all the way down here. Heavy element. The rest of these, some of these are for, uh, ridiculous elements. Uranium, boranium, all these, the, all this stuff is very, very rare. Once you get to a certain point, I think once you go past iron somewhere over here, it's very, very rare stuff. Everything here is abundant in the universe. Everything here is rare. The universe set up. The game is set up, guys. It's like a packet of Pokemon cards. You open it up, there's the Charizard, there's the little, you know, Bulbasaur, you know what I'm saying? And then the game goes on. And if you don't know how to play, you don't know the rules to the game, you can't play it. I'm at like 100,000 for the month, he's at like 40. So even if you had two of him sitting out here, it wouldn't even equivalent, or, you know, to me. Oh look, let's go, let's go on, on Melissa's. Follow me, follow me, follow me. There's me. There's Kenny. There's me, 96. And then all the way down here, if you can see. I have see, to go below. 
it's uh, go below eight, eight, chill, chill, at chill. 55. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, let's talk about this guy. Let's, let's, no, 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 let's focus on this guy. <laughs> this guy stays on until 3 a.m., so I can't compete with that. I actually want right. to have some sleep. I'm 19. I could do it. I'm on that ass. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tracks NYC for all your best needs. This is Kenny Tracks. He'll reply back to any DMs. He'll get this man, and he'll get his numbers up. What's your moon watch, man? If you work really hard, you get a Velcro watch. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is actually um, a, shmoo, a moon. You can't even pronounce it. A moon watch. Moon watch. The Speedmaster. Speedmaster Omega so, uh, Moon Watch, Swiss Watch. Yeah. It's like Jupiter. a five-year-old watch. It's a fiber. It's bioceramic, so <laughs> they take a bunch of plastic That's and kind of mold it together, plastics. and then they put like a little small battery to consider it as a port, and just put it in the middle. And you they know, put it on a Velcro strap, and you pay but, 500 bucks. Uh, let's be real. Who really tell analog time nowadays? Like, which one is faster, reading this or reading this? Reading I can't get canceled. You, you can't get canceled. Can't get canceled. Hey brother. Hey brother. I got. Hey brother. No, it's not like that. It's not. That's really. You you guys just write the DMs, but the DMs is just like chit chat for the most part. No. All right, um, I, I sift wait, through and I find something. From an outside perspective, Kenny, you know, he has almost three years. Three years of experience. I'm surprised you don't have like you know arthritis with your right hand. The way the amount of times he clicks on the computer. I come with um, the big sales and I share it. You know, it's about the dog. Years. Here's your money. I do pay your mortgage this month. I do appreciate you as a colleague. I don't like you as a friend. <laughs> he loves me as a father. It's tough love. It's called character development. If I was nice to this guy every day, he would he wouldn't have a job. He'd be unemployed. I'll be a, you know, be, I'll be a, I'll be a tiger. I'll be a, a tiger. Borracho. A yes. Borracho. But there's things, we, there's things we gotta teach him, like how to manage your money. You teach us, like for example. Like if your check wasn't that good. How to not pin roll your jeans. Like, bro, is it, is it, is it, we're still pin rolling jeans. Bro. Is it pin roll? No, it's not pin rolling your jeans, bro. Stop pin is it, it, look, you see, he's literally sucking me off right now. They're not even pin roll. They're jeggings too. 24 k rosary with 18 k wire. But uh, we got him black onyx, but he don't like it with this. He wants something more luxurious. He wants each ball to be a black diamond. So that's gonna raise it up a lot, but. It's gonna be. He did agree for the uh, black onyx, but now he wants something better. It looks kind of similar, honestly, but I mean, it's cool. Like it's a, an entire diamond as a ball, so you know, it's like extra lab. And he's doing 24 karat, and then the wire is 18 karat, so I guess all out. What about you? What are you thinking? You spacing out? Ah, uh, rosaries. If you want, you can go to the previous episodes to see the pearl rosary I did. Anything's possible here at Trax. Pearls, black diamonds, black onyx, anything we can do it. You remember the episode? This is from last season, right? This one from last season. I think season season one, episode two, three. You know what? Just watch all the episodes. Just watch all the episodes. You will find it. Don't worry. Just go back to YouTube and watch all of them. You'll find one of them. <laughs> hey, we, got, we got a new worker. I don't know if you interview him. I've been here officially five days. And he sold the Rolex. <laughs> it's the fifth day. So well, I'm excited. Uh, I feel this is uh, an opportunity of a lifetime. So I'm taking full advantage and I'm giving it my best. So expect a lot from me, Jose, here at Trax. We're at one of our one of our wholesalers, usually for diamonds. Kenny got a special order. Um, right now he's got a black onyx rosary. These are black diamonds. I actually have not seen a black diamond rosary ever. See like the facets. It said it's ball cut, but it looks like a checker cut on it. Yeah, I mean, they really like, look like, like beads. Have you ever seen rose-cut diamonds, but this is a, a whole bead? Yeah, I mean, so it's a black diamond. It goes through. It's going to be for Kenny's rosary for his customer. I mean, if you just wanted to buy this without anything on it, not in a rosary, you're looking at something like 34, 35,000 just for the stones. Um, I mean, it would look real nice with my outfit today, black on black. So maybe when Kenny's done, I'm going to have to wear the rosary for a bit. You, you're having like a, a M pendant for yourself, right? The M's coming soon, but... This is for Kenny's order, so we're probably gonna take this, get it to Kenny, and then finish this up. Four and a half inch. We're just working on this for Prime. We had one of our guys from the Prime team, they hit us up. We made the two before. The two before were about three inches. Uh, they wanted a bit bigger. They want a full name engraved on the back for the next fighter they have. is for our client from Dubai. When we dropped off the wedding too, we had sent uh, one of our old workers, Max Gomez, on the Dubai trip. But, but the same client, he had this ring, had a different stone. He just wanted us to replace it, find a new stone. So we got this one, a little over three carats. 
certified trillion cut. But with his old stone, we're making the little play buttons. And just boom. Make a little model. My personal piece is getting worked on here. Hey, you know the knuckles, they're working on the knuckles. Sonic, Sonic and Knuckle. Well, Sonic. Knuckle, Knuckles. Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles. For the gamers. The break. break. And you know he's an anime fan. Del tattoo de, 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 de Dragon Ball. Wow. Well, it's Kid, Kid Goku, actually. It's a Goku chiquito, hola. Yeah. Custom for Paulo, Paulo's customer. Paulo did a really good touch right here in the knuckles. The diamond set reverse. So the end of the diamond is pointing out. We have to figure out how we're gonna display this jewelry. I don't like these dusty little uh, display it's right here. This all this all looks dusty and, and, and whatever it is. You got chains on one side, black on this, red on that. Uh, something's got to give, and more engagement rings got to pop out. We're gonna have to go over there and pick that stuff up, rummage the safe. Let's not forget about that. But let's go back inside and switch things up. All right. So what is our issue here, business-wise, with? Can you give me some of the museum gel for a second? You got a bunch of diamonds in a plastic case that are worth a lot of money, and these are the natural ones. So. All right, how we're gonna display them is the question. But when you go like this, they slide away. So I'm thinking, my, th my thought is that these would be on here like that, you know? All right? So that way, every day, when you pop it out, you just pop it out and then you have all the diamonds and your little GIA attached to it right there with reports by GIA. And then all we have to do every day is focus on our diamond display plexiglass arrangement with all of Roman stones. How many stones? We know that there's eight on this row, 10 on that row, 15 on that row. This is what you're managing, all right? So you went from managing all of this nonsense with earrings here and this and there to managing one thing at a time. And the same thing should be done with the earrings and the same thing should be done with everything else. Windows, um, I don't know how important they are, but people pass them by and if they find something they like, they'll stand and they'll look at it and then they'll come on in. So everyone's doing the same thing. We're doing something a little creative. But I like, you know, different themes and, and uh, different artistic styles. And you can hit the right note and you can be attractive to people because thinking outside the box is the only way to, to beat the competition. In the diamond district, everybody's looking at everybody else and they're copying each other. And I'm trying to break the mold. I want to do something innovative, but sometimes when you go outside the box, you, you fall off a cliff. Everybody in the world is milking every dollar everywhere they can, okay? I don't give a fuck if they're selling bottles of water in front of Disneyland. If someone is over there selling bottles of water for $5 in the parking lot, someone is coming in for four. Someone came in for four, someone else is coming in for three. Until it, they, they're like, you know what, f it, I'll do something else. So right now, people are flooding in to soak up every fucking dollar that is in there. And they're gonna be elbowing each other just to get to that last dollar. And when that, when that goes down, what happens? What happens is, People are in a position, they overplay their hand, and then they're in a position to lose money. Then someone's walking around with a bag of baguettes saying, I'll f do anything to sell it.